Yeah, welcome back guys. It's been a while here. So right now I want to show you how to create a 3D logo. I'll walk you through the process, how you can come up with a presentable logo for uh, a food restaurant a business and how you can present this logo on a 3D wood markup without wasting much of our time that you started. Determine the size you want to use as a square size that is 120 by 1280. After determining the size, then we are going to import all the elements we are going to use. So, take it for instance, I shall be in, uh, importing this one after the other. After position this, which represents the chef cap, then I'm going to bring the spoon which the hand hold it. Place it beside this. All these will be manipulated by using my erase tools. After position this, I will double the layer on top of this. Then I will bring the second hand that open the spoon while the first one open the fork. So after being selecting all these, I will make sure that I lock everything. Without wasting much of our time, I will get into the text area. Then put a chef's queen. That is the brand name, Echef's Queen. Then I will go into the font type. Then I will use a font called Eventica. This is Eventica Compressed. After selecting that, I will make sure that I increase the size to a uh, minimum like this. I forgot to have the X, so I will put the X beside the chaps. After positioning that, I will reduce the size a little bit, then position it around the other as the sense of creating a space in between the cap and the hands. After that being done, then I will create a little space in between the half a bit by spacing it to like a six figure, reducing the size a little bit, then you make sure that uh, the right up are not really uh, bigger so that it will look more presentable. I will position it around here. After positioning it well, then I will adjust, adjust it. Okay, after the adjustment, then I can position the right up I want to use. Take it for instance, I will put a knife in like three dots. Then I will put the slogan, your nicks, our passion. So space it a little bit. Put your, your needs. See your needs. Okay. Then put comma, put our passion. Okay. After positioning that, after typing this, then you go to the font and use um a font that can stand still let's say we use um roboto roboto the switch one so when you use your roboto position let this close a little bit okay then we are going to position this underneath but that should be a space when you position this word first of all creating a spacing between the alphabet then you are going to increase the size a little bit now you have the whole work underneath after that has been done you create more spacing between all the text then you bring in uh you type the number so take it for instance plus two three four seven zero three four six 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 zero seven seven one okay after position this, this is the brand name i will go to the phone type then go to the font search for search for achiever okay then use the semi board then you can bold the little bit and create a space in between the alphabet just as perfect as this don't let it close reduce the size a bit position it around there then you go into text area then you bring in the logo 
for the social media and I can show you position that around there. Okay, perfect. After positioning that, you are going to uh, change the color. So we like this. Then you go to chef, you change the color to the red, change it to red. Go to the uh, the text type, the phone number, change it. Then you go to stroke, apply a little stroke, let it be red. Reduce it to two stroke, give it a two, two stroke. And then you go to uh, the slogan, then you change the color to green, okay? The green should be somehow sharp, but not too deep. Okay, so after you are able to position all this, you see on that uh, six minutes, you are able to achieve this. You place it by selecting the transparent background, while you make sure you save the logo as ultra. Now, the next step is to uh, turn this logo to 2D by applying a background. White background will be able to go for this. So after you place that, then you are going to save it again. Then once you are able to achieve this, then you can save your logo as a project. Okay. So we are not saving this time around anymore. We are saving as a project. So I will just say a chef's logo. A chef's logo. So after saving that, uh, I will now go to my browser okay so when you get to this browser this is my uh, last work okay positioning this so I'm going to refresh okay after refreshing go to my photo P then I will search it Just search the photo P address. So while are searching, we can actually go to the application. Go to application, okay, photo P. So while this is loading, I will refresh by going back to this, to the previous one. So this is already loaded. So I will visit the gala, I mean my drive, where I have the marker being uh, saved. So I will return back. Okay, just go to this. Allow it to load. Okay, I'm going to change this first, then return back. Okay. After returning back, then I'm going to my drive. Then I will look for the font I want to use. I mean the PSD file. This is the wooden PSD file I want to use. So I will tap on it. Well, I'll be waiting for it to load. So there are two things you are going to learn here. Apart from transforming, uh, transforming the logo into 3D, we are going to learn how to um, retain the color. You see the two color which we uh, actually give to the logo after designing it. So I'm going to replace the color because it's automatically transformed to 3D. And after transforming, it will uh, tap the texture, the wooden texture, which is this. It will display like this, which we don't want. So I will tap on the layer, then click on your logo here, double tap, and I will hide the replaced. After that, I will access my gallery by tapping the file and click on open and place accessing my gallery by locating the design we just made remember we save in two way the first one is with transparent background 
After importing this back to this place, it will position. Then you drag and position to fit in properly. Just make sure it is not exact the transparent layer. Now tap on the file and tap on the save with smart object. Now be looking at the screen of your phone. In no time you will see smart object updated. You can see. After seeing this, you tap here where you see the 3D wall. After you tap, now you should be watching the screen and see in no time it will transform to 3D. But remember, as I said, it will uh, display the texture, the wooden texture on which you might not be able to see anything or you'll be able to see it but might not be able to look fine. So now you see how everything is being modeled. Let me zoom it out for you to be able to see. This is exactly what I was talking about. And when you see how this was showing, it's not really cool, right? Because the images are being blurry together, modeled together, which we are unable to see the beauty of the design. So what are we going to do? We are going to wish I retain the color. I'll go to the layer, then tap on the extraction here. The first one, I will hide it. Okay, when I had it, everything will clean. So all those share ready something that make it not to be clean will be disappear. Now we'll go to the second layer. I will not hide it. I will tap on the downward arrow, then hide the gradient overlay. After hiding it, you will see the color will be retained. But what make it to be so brighter and no counter is because I was able to hide the first layer. Now tap on the file and click on export tap on the png and uh, you see the another window will open while we click on saved now it's automatically downloaded let's see it okay and that is the result of what we just made i believe this is so watch uh subscribing and this is what uh what's hearing and this is uh what's liking please on your way out if you actually learn something drop your comment and don't forget to share and if you are new to my channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget as well to turn on the bell icon so that you'll be notified uh whenever i update my channel with new videos like this thank you for watching guys god bless you